Hi, this is Mark Hosky, a Control Engineering uh, Content Manager. I'm here at the Sensors Expo with Alexis Alcott. She's Product Manager with Microchip and has a new product to show us today. Thanks, Mark. Uh, our, our new product that we're talking about today is a PIC24F. Uh, it's in our GB2 family of microcontrollers. And what's unique about this new product is it offers both our extreme low power technology as well as an integrated crypto engine for securing data. Good. And what market trends are being uh, addressed by this product? Sure. Um, basically, the market trends that we're seeing are that um, embedded applications are connecting to the internet increasingly. And as things are connecting to the cloud, uh, people are wanting to secure that data. Oftentimes, in these end applications, uh, they're also battery powered. And uh, we want to extend that battery uh, life as long as possible. And what are some of the, the, the market drivers? Is it cost savings, new functions, revenue opportunities? How are people using this product and taking advantage of the features? Sure. Uh, basically, some of the, the uh, advantages and things that they're trying to take advantage of are uh, the, the very long battery life. So this PIC24 GB family offers 18 nanoamps of sleep current. Um, and so in most applications at end sensor nodes, they're spending most of their time in sleep. Uh, so by having such low power consumption, uh, we're able to extend the battery life uh, in applications for a, a very long time. And when the application does wake up, we're able to uh, encrypt the data that's being sensed so that uh, uh, it can be saved off until somebody's ready to decrypt it. So that protects that embedded data, embedded data from, from being uh, accessed by anybody that's, that's not, uh, not supposed to see that information. And in an application um, where something is accessed maybe five, ten times an hour, what would the battery life equate to? It could be several years. Um, it depends on uh, the, the whole profile of the application and what wireless protocols that you're using. Um, typically in those scenarios, uh, we see customers using either a sub gigahertz wireless um, or even a Bluetooth low energy uh, wireless for the, the lowest power consumption. Good. And how, um, how does this address the challenges with installing or implementing uh, this product into devices that manufacturers are building? I think that the integration is the key, and um, the, the flexible uh, connections are also key. So inside the PIC24 microcontroller, uh, we've got uh, several peripherals that, that make things easier. Um, there's a charge time measurement unit uh, that makes it very easy for proximity sensing, temp sensing, or even touch sensing. Uh, and also the UART connection, uh, it's very easy to uh, connect to one of Microchip's uh, wireless modules. Um, in the areas of Wi-Fi, Bluetooth LE, or even sub-gigahertz. Great. The, now I understand you, you have a little demo here? We do. We've got a demo to show you. Uh, this is our 16-bit uh, XLP board, uh, extreme low power. Uh, and right here, you'll see a, a 28 PDIP product. That's the PIC24 microcontroller I was telling you about. And this here is our um, RN4020 Bluetooth LE Pigtail daughter card. Uh, what we have here is basically a command and control application uh, talking via Bluetooth LE to an Android tablet, and we'll show bi-directional communication. So we're able to turn the LEDs on and off. That's demonstrating uh, communication from the tablet down to the board. And now we're also able to show communication from the board up to the tablet. You can see the switch states going from off to on. Uh, the board also has a temp sensor, so you put your finger here over the temp sensor, you can see that temperature climbing up a little bit. And so we're not limited to just these, uh, these features of temperature LEDs. Um, you can use your imagination that that could be many other things in an end system, uh, but just the, the basic command and control bidirectional communication combination of a low power microcontroller with the low power uh, Bluetooth communication. Right, so you're not limited to these particular examples. It's no, just for the demo. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thanks, Alexis. Thanks, Mark.